everybody. Um, my name is Jerome Wright, <clears throat> and once again, you're joining me on my um, Jeronification channel here on YouTube. All right. In this video, I'm going to be um, addressing um, our world. Some, I guess, this would be our world's um, most oldest, or coastal being our oldest um, ancient artwork, and it's out of um, Africa. I believe it's dubbed as the um, sand um, sand rock art. Okay, and um, in caves, I guess they're in um, in Africa there. Okay, it's my position that everything, all art of our world, has an underlining message and an images that actually depict how mankind was bridged over and genetically um, linked with the creatures in which they are being shown and depicted with, and um, it was a, a cult-like process that was has always been known and had always been instinct instinctively and in place in the evolution of our kind from forever. You know what I mean? It's a it's a knowledge that has always been known. Alright? Here we have an ancient cave drawing. Okay, and um in that ancient cave drawing what it is showing us is a cow or ox like creature. Okay? Always notice, though, that these creatures have this crazy looking face that does not conform to that of the creatures that we have today in our world. You, 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 I mean, the legs and, and everything is okay, we're dealing with that. <clears throat> but notice how when you come to the head, that the heads begin to change. Well, I want to show you something about this that that you, that you cannot see, okay? And and why this is. And then you have a disconformed person over here reaching into and this um this creature's butt area. And showing an extracting, um, doing an extraction. It's my pos it's my position that the message behind all of this is that there's genetic mutations and bridging over with this creature and creatures that you can't see because there are multi-dimensional images here that I can see. Okay, like for instance, I know that there is a creature. Now what you can't see is in this darkened area. You can't see the body of this creature down here. And then see another individual standing at this end. See that darkened shadow figure right here? It's being bridged over at head to toe. Now check this out. I'm going to show it to you again. Look at the body in the darkened area of this creature right here. Two-headed creature, actually, because there's a head on this end and a head on this end. And then look at the shadowy figure standing right here. Never before have anybody ever told you that before. Never. It's always just been about this, with this ancient African artwork, just about this creature and this guy standing back here. No one has never actually seen this before, or discussed this before, or this, this shadowy figure here before. You know why they haven't? Because it's, it's undiscovered. This is all brand new. This is my discovery, of which I've discovered through my paranormal experience and encounter that shows you over and over again. I can demonstrate to you, I don't care where it's at, and anything ancient of what is going on with us and how we came to be. Now, through every, this is a cyclonation of genes right here. Between this guy here, I don't know if any of you guys can see that shadowy figure there. Can, let me draw that out for you. The silhouette of that person there coming around their shoulder there, here, and here's the head coming around there. There's the um, underneath the chin, the mouth. You see that? Uh, uh, you see that? You see that shadowy figure right there? Did I draw that in for right here? Mouth, nose, eye, eye, head, and then there's, there's a shadowy figure. Then there's another creature here, mouth. Chin. And then there's another creature here, mouth, chin, coming around. Because people, I know how we came to be. 
Now, what is this? What is being shown? It's my position that this is the body of a whale created the tail and it shows man right there on the tail of this whale. If you look at the lost book of Nostradamus, that Merlin figure is telling you the same exact thing with that and the, um, the dragon-like creature. I have videos here. Shows how mankind emerged from the oceanic waters of our world, the genes of mankind evolved from the oceanic through the ancient creatures, dinosaur-like creatures that are on land of our world. And it's showing through these creatures, which have an ancient rooted past in our world with these um, dinosaur prehistoric creatures, that where they were at at that point and what was being bridged over. Now, you see the likeness of this being here. Look at the horns and all of that. It, 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 it targets a specific group of creatures in which we were actually bridged over. And even has the horse there. And it shows you now we have this depiction of this cow-like creature, which doesn't have a face of a cow as we know it. You know why? Because it's showing you the mutation of genes. Now, what most people don't realize or fail to realize is that this creature, I'm going to if I have my, where's my other pen? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw some things out for you here and show you. What this creature is showing you is it's showing you through the body of that creature genes I'm just going to put I'm just I'm drawing this upside down people so I'm just it's showing you genes and mutations that were created during a specific time that calls for the likenesses let me see if I got that for man and for most of you that don't know what that creature is looking like here I'm going to I'm going to use a darker marker Alright, here we go here. For most of you, what you don't realize, I'm just putting it, 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 there you go. What this creature is implying is the ancient behemoth-like creature, the dog-like creature, which is, you see that there? Allegedly linked to man. Now, what else is there? Well, you have to come back and you know that we are later came into the likeness of mankind through the ape-like creature. So let me see if I can get this about right here. Because there's multi-dimensional morphine images that are here, people. Let me see if I can see if I can get this right without screwing this up. I'm doing this upside down. And what's happening? Where's the eye? Right here. I'm going to see if I can. What's happening, people, here is that it's showing you genes going in both ways. And there you have the likeness of our ape creature. Let me give this guy its, it's eye like over here for it. The two-headed creatures going in that one. Now, you know, what? And then it has other creatures coming back this way, which I know what they are. Coming off this, off this side of this, of this creature here. Now, I know what all of this means, to be totally honest with you. Alright, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it out there just like that. I just want to show you, because I'm going to move on to some other things and all some very interesting things. The entire body, this entire image, tells us who we are. Okay? It genetically tells us who we are and how mankind came to be. And then shows you extractions of genes. And this is why these beings look the way they look. They do not look right. How in the world can our African ancestor get the body perfectly right? This is, this is, this is, I mean, for them to do this back then in that ancient time, this is amazing. 
How can they get the entire body right and then get the heads of these creatures and the bodies of, the, of their own likenesses so discombobulated? It just doesn't add up, does it? Well, the reason for being so is because there are multidimensional images in here. And it calls and, 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 and they show the true likenesses of the beings, our ancestors, the genetic likenesses of our ancestors from which truly evolved through our time. It's my position that you can't get this right and then get this so wrong and this so wrong. Surely if they could draw, they were artistic enough to get the bodies of cattle right, then they can get their own bodies right as well and their own faces. They always knew where they evolved from. These multidimensional heads and faces are equivalent to what it is supposed to have been written in the Bible about Ezekiel, seeing four-headed creatures and all of that. People, this is about genetics in motion. Is telling us and describing to us how from through all of this these transformations came these likenesses and this is why you'll see the cattle the horses and the um, and the ox like creatures and the ape figures and the behemoth like figures, all cre creatures that we supposedly have been created through all here in ancient times but I'm going to show you something else because it gets more interesting Again, here's another ancient African artwork here. I should, matter of fact, let me draw, I want to draw this out. I should draw that out for you. No, I'll draw that out later. I'll draw that later. But let me draw this out for you right here. Matter of fact, let, hold on. Let me see if I can get that creature. Well, I, I'm upside down over here. I'm not going to do that. But you get the, you get the picture people, right? Here's this creature bridged over, shows you an oceanic creature, prehistoric oceanic creature right here. Alright, at the tail, spinning off at the tail, there's another another creature, and then the image, the dark image of man. Let me see if I can get that in right quick. Let me see if I can draw that out without messing this up. Where's this other guy at over here? Drawing this upside down is going to screw me over here, I know, but I'm going to see if I can get this. I know I'm coming over the head there. See the head? I just went over the head. I don't want to screw this up. Then coming around. And now. Alright. Alright. Did I get it right? Close enough. Then coming around. The chin area. You see that? You see what I'm doing here, people? This is supposed to be at the tail of the whale. See the shadowy figure right here? I'm going to draw this in right quick because it's co more compelling seeing it done before your eyes. And where are we at here? And that creature actually has two heads. There's there's other faces there, so I'm going to stop with there. There's the, the nose. And then look, then there's multidimensional faces right there coming off the side but I'm not going to do that but I'm going to show you let me see if I can get this then there's the horse like creature here that's already in there that's 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 that can be identified and these are all showing how these bridging overs actually occurred now let me get this well like creature showing you that this guy is spliced Uh, where we at here? Cross-referenced with that. Now, I want to show you something. The cross-references, this creature now, through this process of these genes, to this guy. And you want to know how they're showing you that there's a cross-reference? If you look down at his legs here, the legs are crossed over. implying that I've been crossed reference cross breeded with this creature and this is why he's reaching into the butt area 
right there. Crossed over with this creature genetically through this process of what's going on. But hold on, let me see if I can get this creature into play here because it's my position that the whale is a prehistoric contributor, genetic contributor to the becoming of mankind. And I want to see if I can get that creature in. Where we at here? Oh, I went too far over. Actually, the, the man's body cuts off and creates the, right here, let me see if I can, let me see if I can, let me get on there. Right here in front of the man's leg, actually it creates the, the front point of the whale. Let me see where we at. It creates the multi-dimensional images of the creatures. Now, here's another creature down on this end. Let me show you. And ironically, do you want to know where this is? In that UFO image of one of the ancient um, images of, um, of Jesus where it's supposed to have been a flying saucer. This same exact image, if you look at my video here, this creature on this end and this creature on this end, and it's Jesus hanging from a cross, and Jesus' cross, the bottom of Jesus' cross, pierces this creature here. And then they say that there's a UFO, a flying saucer, off a disc off on this end. The same exact message <coughs> is being stated in the same exact creature. And here we are here in ancient Africa, and look at what I have shown you. The say I forget the name of it, not Christ with Gelder. Um, um, it's a UFO picture. If you Google Christ and UFOs, you'll come up with the um, with the actual image and all. Okay, but people look at this. Now I'm almost seeing. I know we can. I'm not going to do the eye thing here, but if you want, you can actually do the eye right. Where are we at here? Let me see. Right there. Can I? I can't really actually get it in there at this. Let me see if without screwing this up. Let me get that. Let me get that whale a lazy eye if I can, if I will. Uh, let me see what we what did I do? Right in there, and I did do that. Where I can't do it there upside down, I guess. But anyway, right in there. All right, we're we're right there. Okay, now. I'm gonna get bring in some more. I'm gonna bring in some more images here, okay? Because there's more that you got to see here to believe this, okay? And this, you have. How can we have? How can I show you a cow bridged over, showing you an extraction from the whale? That look, look at the legs of this cow up in the air, people. Up in the air now. Down. I'm giving you a figure of a whale. Creature on the end, which I, <clears throat> which I know what this creature is, people, right here. I know what this creature is right here. You know what I mean? So a whale and a creature that I know what it is right here. Other images of a behemoth, the dog, which is associated with us. The ape right there. <clears throat> the image of a man. And then this alien looking being shown pulling extractions out of it. A cyclonation. <clears throat> of genes that's evolving creatures that ancient creatures that were from the sea and from the land and the images of mankind at the head and at the tail of these creatures at this of this cyclonation period and this is an ancient African piece of artwork people nobody has never addressed this in this way never but hold on it gets better I'm gonna just gonna show you something similar now this is not where it gets better at but I just want to show you something similar. Here's another image from that cave to where it's showing you again creatures that, that do not look nothing like us but yet they're here. And, and, and I mean again UFO theorists want us to believe that these are flying identified, unidentified objects up here 
while you have likenesses of our kind here at cattle, showing you the cattle in a cyclonation fashion, and then you have figures covered in like what they would want you to believe would be uniforms, alien uniforms or, 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 um, or space uniforms because of these flying on. But you know what this is? This is no different than what is being depicted in our ancient and modern day depictions of angels, angelic-like figures with wings, and in the China world with the um, um, with the flying carriages and all of that stuff there. You know what this is explaining people in just common sense terms? This is showing you this creature, the ancient rooted genetics of this creature, is involved with the likenesses of our kind, and these beings, which you want, they want you to believe are angelic or uh, alien-like beings, are beings that are covenant with the blood and the genetics of these creatures, and this is what they're showing you, their covenant with the genetics of their ancient ancestors, and genetically they're showing you with these snaky like objects that they're on the body of, they are genetically carriers of these genes. Okay, I'm going to give you something else. Here's another cave art, ancient African cave art image here. In this picture, we're being shown <laughs> in this picture we're being shown the let me see here where we at where we at right there. In this picture we are being shown creatures, elephants like and mankind on the um, on the face of the rock here. Okay, fair enough, right? Well, it's my position that these creatures, which include elephants and these little individuals here, you know what this is? This is like a pyramid of of genetic bridging, and it shows you that these creatures are being bridged over shows you these creatures are being bridged over and it shows you that through how many processes and a number of processes that these creatures were bridged over it reminds me of you know like um you ever see that pyramid chart from um of of, of um of a person's um family tree or through mankind and it shows you a pyramid from from a single parent from well actually from two parent it starts from a single parent and then it bridges up comes um, um, two parents, a mother and a father, and then from there, a, a, a great-grandfather, I mean, a, a grandfather and a grandmother, and then it keeps bridging up a great-grandfather. That pyramid that, that, that it actually shows you, that's what this is right here. It's showing you that these creatures, through that process, came likenesses of mankind, mutations. Mutations that look like aliens, similar to this, and similar to this, right here. Now, what, what is a single parent? Well, in Anchor Wat, they show you the image of the Triceratops. And on the ancient Peruvian burial stones, they show you the dinosaurs and, and lizards and all of that stuff there. And even on our ancient royalty, they show you the slain of dragons and all of that. That's what that's all about because theoretically they wanted us to believe that we never existed with the dinosaur. But people, it's my position that 
not only did we exist with the dinosaur, but we evolved through the ancient dinosaur, and genetically, we are the dinosaurs. So the dinosaurs never ex became extinct. Those little cartoons that you see with our children of talking dinosaurs and people looking like dinosaurs and all of this, this, that, and the third, is that people, the truth in all of this that is that we are the dinosaurs. We evolved and constantly evolved from that creature, from our oceanic properties of our world, through that creature to becoming who we are today, and that is the lost history of who we are. Now, what do I want to show you about this? This is where it gets good at. Because I have another video out, and you have to see it. I forget the name of the cave that I actually did. I did actually a couple of videos there, and it escapes me right now, and I'm not even going to try to go there. But it's my position that wherever you see these blood red images, and I believe this is the actual blood of those cre of those beings that actually drew these on on this rock. They utilize blood. This is my position because you know what they're telling you that they are blood linked, genetically linked to the beings that you cannot see that are on the faces of these rocks or wherever you see. These drawings, it's my position that there is a symbolic symbol there of our ancestor. Uh, yeah, well, you, you're probably saying, well, well, where is it at, Jerome? Well, it's my position that one can look at this rock and tell that it is not what it seems to be. When I look at, when you look at this rock, all you see are drawings of elephants and images of mankind. When I look at it, I see a family tree up through which mankind came to be. And it tells you how many genetic, genetic bridgings that actually occurred in order to, for mankind to come into this likeness. It's telling you, it's counting the process. I see a tongue here. I see a ball in the mouth. I see a bottom lip. I see a top lip. I see a horn. I see another creature here, ape-like creature with a horn. Uh, with the horn of that creature, that ain't a creature. I see a fish here, creature here, with a horn. I see another creature coming back this way, and I see the head of a creature. And then over here, I see these creatures coming together to meet, and another horn here. There's another creature, ancient creature, and I even see teeth in the mouth right there, which you can probably see more clear. See the teeth right there? I see a bottom chin, and I see two faces meeting, and I see this creature giving this creature a genetic ball, an egg. The same exact thing that's shown pretty much where this creature is taking genetics out of the butt of another creature we show our ancient triceratops creature giving the egg to that creature sharing of genetics is the message so what do I see well through my paranormal experience and encounter multi-dimensional sense of awareness and being I am genetically drawn and linked to this. So what you see as just minute drawings on rock, I see the faces of our tree, true, true ancestors, which are beyond that. If you look closely at that, all you have to do is Google either ancient um, cave art our oldest ancient, our world's ancient, our most oldest ancient cave art, or just Google sand, um, what is it, sand cave, um, sand cave drawings or something, I believe it is, I have it written on the back here, sand, um, sand rock, um, sand rock, um, cave art, sand rock cave, cave art, just 
sand rock cave art. Okay? If you want to Google this for yourself, which I encourage you to do, and let me write that down there. Sand, S-A-N, rock, cave art. And you get this image. Sand rock cave art and Miss Art from over there. Now, can you actually see a fish there, people? I'm going to get into this real good here first. Can you see that creature there? It gets better. Look at the prehistoric fish with a horn on its head. There's the eye, and it gets better because there is another fish inside of his body. You know? Yeah, there's another fish inside of his body there. Now, look at this. Now, look at this, people, because you're going to Google this. I'm going to encourage you to Google this and see what I see. You notice that the lips, and there's teeth, and an eye, and it shows the body of the fish. Now look, because I'm, I'm going to lift the page up. So when you Google this image, do this because my highlights don't do nothing for what is actually there. Check this out. Now I'm going to lift it up, and I want you to look at the same location, and look at the mouth and the teeth. Because actually highlighting it takes away from it. But you will see the lips the teeth at the top and the bottom that separates the mouth and the image of that prehistoric fish is right there with another fish, a shadowy figure, in its body. Right here. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna drop it down once again, people look. This creature, a specific creature, likeness is there. It's my position that at one point this portion of this rock smoothed over was sculpted from the actual creature from which this likeness bears. Let's run this back. So, there's a horn there. This is a two horn. Now, check this out, people. Now, dinosaurs head a horn and a horn. Now, it's my position that mankind is bridged over sea, which is depicted, and land, which is depicted. Look at on um, this horn, which would be that of this ancient Triceratops-like creature. There's the first horn. Well, that's the horn closest to the port. It's fish. On its very first horn, that's on the top of its nose, like a um, nose cap here. There's an image of an ape like creature and the horn is shared and it gives that creature a horn so you have the horns now check this out a triceratops dinosaur like creature with his horns showing you at both of his horns having symbol symbolization of creatures that represent the sea and land which is fish and that of ape and the horns of this creature piercing through those creatures stating that genetically they're all one. Now, hold on. Let's do this again. Let's lift this up, people, because you're going to Google this image, and I'm going to challenge you to look at this. A prehistoric fish and a prehistoric ape-like ancestor that you know nothing about with horns. Check this out. Mouth. Look at the um, I forget what you call that, like a like a like a like a like almost you know that 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 scaly fi the the fish the way they have that antennae coming around under the eyes like a almost like a uh, I forgot what they call it though, but I, I'm not even gonna go into detail. But showing you that these creatures this this creature bears the likeness of that creature. Look at that. I had look at this. Never saw before. Look. Now, what else is being shown? Now, we have the Triceratops like creature. Now, check, it, check this out. I'm giving you one. There's more there, too, to this, to, to this. You cannot even believe. Because on the back of the fish is a woman like 
image right here, who I dub as the mother of creation, who always appear with the ape-like image on the back of the fish. Now, I can show you this in Rembrandt's work. I can show you this in Leonardo da Vinci work. I can show you this in Salvador Dali's work. And every artist to is to be, they show this fish, or well, not this particular fish, but the fish in relations to that of a witch-like woman, which is right here on the back of that. There's a mouth, there's a chin, there's an eye, and she is facing off with the ape who she always appear with. These three symbols right here, I can show you in every, pretty much every ancient artist that is an artist that has a name, these sim similar images. Because these three symbols right here are who we are. Now, let's get back to the head of the Triceratops, because there's other stuff there, but I'm not going to go into detail. The bottom chin area of the Triceratops, the bottom lip, the tongue coming out, open mouth right here, and it's showing you that these creatures are an extension of this creature right here. These, this person, these people that created this drawing knew that this was here. This is why they put their blood drawings on this location. Because they knew the symbolic message behind the projection of these images. This is why this is here. It's not just this location because I did it with another location as well with the hands, with the bloody hands. I did the same exact thing. So this is my second video depicting a similar message. Now, here's another creature that's shown Triceratops, this rhinoceros-like creature. Why in the world is there like a rhinoceros or rhinoceros-like man are being right here facing off with this guy. Now, I'm going to draw this guy out for you and then I'm going to lift it up. If you look at this side here, hold on, I'm going to go, I guess I can go because I already have it drawn. I'll just trace over with this. The horn. Is like a face mask over that. And long and behold, people, I'm going to show you the creature that you can see. I've seen this creature in my discoveries. Look, it's like a face mask. It's like a shell I, over this creature. There's the horn coming around, coming across the skull. This is the bottom chin area here. And it has teeth. You can identify with the teeth and the gum lines and all. Okay? The separation right there with the teeth shown, and it shows a creature, a bloodline that was created through that. I put the eye here just to give the eye looks a little far up to me, but I put an eye right here just to give you an idea of what's going on here. People, this is not a far stretch considering that there are there's horned beings on this side and now there's another on this side facing off. But check this out. These images, these half skulls caps with this horn on it. Look at the, the, the way that this horn creates a, a, like a half shell off onto the bridge of the nose and then there's a mouth with teeth in it. And the eye. Look at this. Stuff that you see in in in, 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 in in animated cartoons in our movies today, in our latest movies, I think in um like the stuff in like um uh, Jack the Giant Slayer today. These images come to life. But listen, we're there we're dealing I'm talking I just named a few movies from our time, but what in the hell is this doing in ancient cave artwork? And underlining messages from this. Because no one knew about this until just today, till I just released this in my video to you. 
But I know about it because you know why? Because the beings that left this behind, I am paranormally linked to them. I can follow them from not just here, but anywhere in our universe. Because you know why? I am genuinely linked to everything that is in existence and everything that we are instinctively connected to. These beings, people, are ancestors. We are genetically linked to them. And if you opened up your mind and your thoughts and your vision and allow your mind to know that they are there, then they become known to you. And you realize that everything that is around you is caused by them. They left messages behind for you to see. And you refuse to see it. Because you know why? Because you allowed for people to taint your thoughts with religion. You allow for people to taint your thoughts with science. You allow for a dare to be a block. Can I give this thing an eye anywhere up in here? I'm going to look for as I'm going to give this thing an eye, a closed eye. I'm going to give it. Let me see what my vision can do for you right there. Can I give this thing a closed eye? With maybe a little wrinkle over it or, or something. But I'm going to give it a closed eye. I'm not going to give it an open eye. That's, that eye sucks. But anyway. No, I don't like that eye. I just I should have gave it a better eye. But um I wanted to give it No, I can't fix it now because I used a marker. But this is the eye people, right there. Alright? That's the eye of that thing. Right there. I put a couple of wrinkles like that. Alright. Let's give that the eye. I just screwed up a perfect drawing. But um anyway. <coughs> now we have <clears throat> sand rock, ancient African artwork. This is the stuff that Africa does not know about on itself. This is where Africa history, which is supposedly had been destroyed, this is where I can recapture it. Right here. I can recapture Africa's ancient true history genetic history of who they were. Here. Look at this. We have a triceratops here. A triceratops mutation. Well, several triceratops mutations because there's an ancient fish with a horn. An ancient ape with a horn. Prehistoric ape with a horn. Prehistoric fish with a horn. Prehistoric ape with a horn. Shown linked with this creature. Just as they did in Angkor Wat. Same exact thing. You wondering why a Triceratops is in, in the drawing. Well people, here it is right here in Cave Art. Then this creature here. I have linked this creature not just to our world, but to space. And then <clears throat> everything in Hollywood that is ancient. Those movies that are out now that you're seeing with these half skull people with their skulls coming down. People, look at this. This Hollywood face, but from Cave Art that nobody knew about in Africa. Stolen images, stolen art utilized and sold to you. An ancient knowledge that is stolen your identity. This is why you're so linked to what is going on with these 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 fabulous Hollywood movies. It's your identity being played back to you. Your identity stolen. Who you are, genetically are, stolen from you. And then they're taunting you with it in movies and selling it to you as, 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 as blockbuster movies which you'll be willing to go and pay 10 and $15 for it to go 
and look at, <clears throat> be drawn to, and saying, why in the world is I'm so attracted to this? And come to find out, because these are your own ancestors that they're showing you. Your genetic identity. Again, people, a triceratops. Look at this. The two horns on the triceratops nose shown through piercing through that of a prehistoric fish with a fish on its side bridged over that of showing you the ape and then the ape with the horn. There's a woman there and there's much more people because they're multi-dimensional images. But look at how these images come to life. From this, from this, people, look. When you Google this image, look at the lips on this fish. And this, this, is, this is another thing here, too. You know how the triceratops, how there's a break in the skin, like a gum line, like a tooth, like a tooth ex um, coming through skin? I'm going to show you something about that, another thing. You know how the tooth comes through your skin and your gum line? Look at how right here, hold on, where's my pencil at? I, I want you to, because I want you, when you Google this image, I want you to see this. I want you to see this. Look at how this horn, like right here, creates a separating line. And it almost shows you the skin of the nose of this creature and how the, the horn is piercing it. And how you would expect a gum line or a, tooth, or a protruding line a protrusion line to be. You see what I'm saying? The same exact thing. The same exact thing. Look at that. Right here. That line, I'm telling you. There and actually right here. So we have a fish with a horn, an ape with a horn, a triceratops, and the two horns coming through its nose and on its nose showing you the bridging right there. And this is what this message is all about. I love this. 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 Because when you go and look at this, you will now see my Triceratops discovery. You will see this ape creature. You will see the fishes that I highlighted. You will see the mouth right there with the lips and the teeth. And you will see this here and say, he is right. What better sense comes from this than that? Through this creatures, these creatures, came these creatures, this, this is this creature's ancestor here, and our ancestor are all of them. This creature, they're telling you, is here, this is the genetic extension of this creature that they're on, on this rock, here, and we are extensions of all of the above. And they're showing you the likeness of man and the different bridgings from which they arrived to be at they, what they are in likeness of current. It's a record of our genetic becoming. The tongue of this creature out showing you an egg in its mouth, a genetic, a genetic implication of these beings, this is what was created. The torch being passed to this creature from this likeness, an image of man right here, and then showing you that that creature leaning forward to come into the likeness of the ape, and it's showing you all of the creatures that contributed to the process. My name is Jerome Wright. You're watching my Jeronification channel. And people, I'm out. And my videos only get better because I have no end. Thank you. you know what I mean? it's, a, it's a knowledge that has always been known. All right. Here we have an ancient cave drawing. Okay. And um, in that ancient cave drawing, what it is showing us is a cow or ox-like creature. Okay. Always notice though, that these creatures have this
crazy looking face that does not conform to that of the creatures that we have today in our world. You, 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 I mean, the legs and, and everything is okay, we're dealing with that. <clears throat> but notice how when you come to the head, that the heads begin to change. Well, I want to show you something about this that, that, you, that you cannot see. Okay? And, and why this is. And then you have a disconformed person over here reaching into this, um, this creature's butt area and showing extracting, um, doing an extraction. It's my, pos it's my position that the message behind all of this is that there's genetic mutations and bridging over with this creature and creatures that you can't see because there are multi-dimensional images here that I can see okay like for instance I know that there is a creature now what you can't see is in this dark area you can't see the body of this creature down here and then see another individual standing at this end see that dark and shadow figure right here it's being bridged over at head to toe now check this out I'm going to show it to you again Look at the body in the darkened area of this creature right here. Two-headed creature, actually, because there's a head on this end and a head on this end. And then look at the shadowy figure standing right here. Never before have anybody ever told you that before. Never. It's always just been about this, with this ancient African artwork, just about this creature and this guy standing back here. No one has never actually seen this before, or discussed this before, or this, this shadowy figure here before. You know why they haven't? Because it's, it's undiscovered. This is all brand new. This is my discovery of which I've discovered through my paranormal experience and encounter that shows you over and over again. I can demonstrate to you, I don't care where it's at, and anything ancient of what is going on with us and how we came to be. Now, through every this is a cycle of nation of genes right here. Between this guy here, I don't know if any of you guys can see that shadowy figure there. Can, let me draw that out for you. The silhouette of that person there coming around their shoulder there, here, and here's the head coming around there. There's the um, underneath the chin, the mouth. You see that? I uh, I. Uh, you see that? You see that shadowy figure right there? Did I draw that in for right here? Mouth. No. Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Jerome Wright, <clears throat> and once again, you're joining me on my um, Jeronification channel here on YouTube. All right. In this video, I'm going to be um, addressing um, our world. Some, I guess, this would be our world's um, most oldest, or well, coastal being our oldest. Um, ancient artwork and it's out of um, Africa. I believe it's dubbed as the um, sand, um, sand rock art. Okay? And um, in caves, I guess, there in, um, in Africa there. Okay? It's my position that everything, all art of our world has an underlining message and an images that actually depict how mankind was bridged over and genetically um, linked with the creatures in which they are being shown and depicted with and um, it was a, a cult like process that was has always been known and had always been instinct instinctively and in place in the evolution of our kind from for Elu's I, I had and then there's, there's a shadowy figure then there's another creature here mouth chin and then there's another creature here, mouth, chin, coming around. Because, people, well, I know how we came to be. Now, what is this? What is being shown? It's my position that this is the body of a whale. Created the tail and it shows man right there on the tail of this whale. If you look at the lost book of Nostradamus, that Merlin figure is telling you the same exact thing with that and the, um, the dragon-like creature. 
I have videos here. Shows how mankind emerged from the oceanic waters of our world. The genes of mankind evolved from the ocean through the ancient creatures, dinosaur-like creatures that are on land of our world. And it's showing through these creatures, which have an ancient rooted past in our world with these um, dinosaur prehistoric 